Uh, the, uh, then in the continuation of the, of the previous reading, I had enjoined the, uh, the participants and, and conduits uh, uh, speculating over the bird and the specket to, um, <coughs> to indulge themselves in enjoying the resplendent uh, reminders of this poem that I had found very pleasing years ago by the illustrious Robert Penn Warren. And I told uh, David, uh, Eric, I would read it over there. And I didn't have it at the time. But now I have The Bearded Oaks uh, by Penn Warren, who most of us know for his uh, very well-known novel uh, titled uh, All the King's Men. The oaks, how subtle and marine bearded, and all the layered light above them swims, and thus the scene recessed awaits the positive night. <coughs> so waiting we in the grass now lie beneath the languorous tread of light. The grasses, kelp-like, satisfy the nameless motions of the air. Upon the floor of light and time, unmurmuring, of polyp made we rest. We are, as light withdraws, twin atolls on a shelf of shade. Ages to our construction went, dim architecture hour by hour, and violence, forgot now, lent the present stillness all its power. The storm of noon above us rolled, of light the fury, furious gold, the long drag troubling us, the depth. Dark is unrocking, unrippling still. Passion and slaughter, roof, decay, descend, minutely whispering down, silted down swaying streams to lay foundation for our voicelessness. All our debate is voiceless here, as all our rage, the rage of stone. If hope is hopeless, then fearless is fear, and history is thus undone. Our feet once wrought the hollow street, which echo when the lamps were dead. At windows once, our headlight glare disturbed the doe that leaping fled. I do not love you less that now the caged heart makes iron stroke, or less that all the light once gave the graduate dark should now revoke. We live in time, so little time, and we learn all so painfully that we may spare this hour's term to practice for eternity. Thank you. It's uh, Robert Penn Warren. Look at that old buzzer.